isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Nitong nakaraang ikatatlumput isa ng Agosto, ipinagdiwang ng Philippine Art Community ang ika-isang daang anibersaryo ng pagsilang ng ating pambansag alagad ng sining para sa musika na si Dr. Lucrecia Roses Casilag, na kilala sa marami bilang Tita King, the Grand Lady of Philippine Music. With an artistic career that spanned seven decades, nakilala si Dr. Casilag bilang isang world-class music educator, composer, performing artist, administrator, and cultural entrepreneur na hinangaan at pinarangalan sa loob at labas ng Pilipinas. Ako mismo ay naging saksi sa di pangkaraniwang talento ni Tita King bilang isang kompositor at sa kanyang malawak na pananaw bilang isang arts manager. At marami din akong magagandang alaala sa kanya bilang fellow artist and artistic collaborator. Kaya't huwag po kayong aalis. Samahan ninyo kami as Art to Art pays tribute to national artist Lucrecia Casilag on the occasion of her 100th birth anniversary. Pagkalipas lamang ng ilang paalala. Isinilang si Lucrecia Roses Casilag noong August 31, 1918 sa San Fernando, La Union. Sa kolehyo, dalawang kurso ang sabay niyang tinapos. Ang kanyang Bachelor of Arts major in English mula sa Philippine Women's University kung saan nagtapos siya ng cum laude at ang Music Teacher's Diploma major in piano mula sa St. Scholastica's College. Ang yumaong dekano ng PWU na si Dean Felicing Terona ang nagpursiging tulungan si Casilag na makakuha ng Fulbright Grant at scholarship mula sa Eastman School of Music, University of Rochester, kung saan tinapos niya ang kanyang Master of Music degree. Sa kanyang pagbabalik sa PWU College of Music and Fine Arts, ibinuhos ni Kasilag ang kanyang panahon at talento sa pagpapaunlad ng edukasyon sa sining at pananaliksik sa mga musika at instrumento ng mga katutubong Pilipino. Naging music director din siya ng Bayanihan Dance Company at leader ng professional organizations tulad ng Asian Asian Composers League, UNESCO International Music Council, League of Filipino Composers, Filipino Society of Artists, Composers and Publishers, National Music Competition for Young Artists, and Young Artists Foundation of the Philippines. Nang itatag ang Cultural Center of the Philippines noong 1969, si Kasilag ang napisil na maging pangulo nito at naging responsable para sa pagpapalaganap ng mga programa at pagtatanghal na naging bahagi na ng kasaysayan ng sining sa Pilipinas. Sa pitumpung taon ng kanyang pagiging aktibo sa larangan ng sining sa Pilipinas, tumanggap na si Kasilag ng tatlong honorary doctorate degrees kasama ang di mabibilang na mga premyo at parangal mula sa loob at labas ng bansa. Noong 1989, ginawaran siya ng titulong National Artist of the Philippines para sa larangan ng musika at ang nag-iisang tumanggap ng parangal sa taong iyon. Pumanaw siya noong ikalabing anim ng Agosto 2008 sa edad na walumput siyam. Malaking karangalan para sa Art to Art na bigyang parangal sa okasyon ng kanyang sentenyo ang dakilang pambansang alagad ng sining para sa musika na si Dr. Lucrecia Roses Casilag. Kasama po natin para alalahanin si National Artist Lucrecia Casilag sa okasyon ng kanyang sentenyal birth anniversary, ang kanyang pamangkin na si Jobert Ochoa at ang isa sa mga itinuturing na kasilag specialists, classical pianist Jonathan Arevalo Hu. Jobert, Jonathan, welcome to Art to Art. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Lisa. And magandang hapon. Um, nabanggit kanina na Jobert, pamangkin ka ni Tita King. Yes. On which side of the family? Uh, uh, mother side. Uh -huh. Tita King is the sister of Tita. Uh, is the sister of my ma of my mother. Okay. Yeah. I saw so um sister ng mommy niyo. Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. Um so he she was 
literally your tita king. Yeah, she was. She was my tita king. Tita king. <laughs> Talagang tita. <laughs> um, and how close were you to her growing up? Oh, I'd say we were very close because mm -hmm. uh, we had regular Sunday lunches with her, mm -hmm. especially in the in the years in our growing up years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I'd always ask free tickets from her. But uh -huh. may concert na gusto Siyempre, pampuntaan no? <laughs> kay, sa CCP. Uh, sa CCP. <laughs> so I was that close. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Jonathan, ikaw naman, ikaw ay isang disipulo ni Tita K. No? You are yes. labeled uh -huh. as a Kasilag specialist. What does that mean? A Kasilag Siguro kaya nila nasabi yan. <laughs> kasi pareho kami ng uh, school kung saan kami nag-graduate ng masters ni Tita mm -hmm. King sa Eastman School of Music sa mm -hmm. Rochester. Uh, okay. Kakaunti lang kami mga Pilipinong na nagtapos kasi doon. No? Mm -hmm. So, nung uh, 1950, si Tita King, mm -hmm. si Eliseo Pajaro. Mm -hmm. Tapos, nung 1990s naman, kaming dalawa ni Rachel Herodias. Ah, uh, soprano. Sorry. So, nung panahon ko sa mm -hmm. Eastman, mm -hmm. 75th anniversary ng school noon, uh, we were required to perform Eastman composers. Mm -hmm. At tamang-tama, si Tita King ay graduate ng Eastman. Mm -hmm. So, ang nangyari noon, naging puro kasilag na yung tinutugtog ko. At, uh, pero, pero nung bata pa lang ako, kilala ko na rin siya dahil okay. ang mother ko ay alumna ng Philippine Women's University. Dean niya si Tita King. Okay. Nung And was siya doon. Tita King coming from Eastman parang instrumental in you choosing to go to Eastman? Um, actually, nagulat si Tita King nga na nasa Eastman ako. Oh, okay. Kasi nung high school ako, sa, sa High School for the Arts ako mm -hmm. nag-aral. Pagkatapos, uh, nag-aral na ako sa Florida for my undergrad. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, uh, dalawang school ang pinagpilian ko, either Juilliard or Eastman. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang, yung piano teacher na gusto ko, nasa Eastman talaga. Mm. At yung course sa Eastman, it's a double degree, performance and literature. Kaya pagdating na pagdating ko sa Eastman, sinulatan ko si Tita King. So nagulat siya, ay buti yun ang napinili mo. Kasi alam ko, as a performer, mm -hmm. mas mahirap ang school na ano eh, maraming academics. Mm -hmm. In fact, puro ang daming sulat, ang daming... Uh, ginagawa, ang daming trabaho. Oh, yeah. trabaho. Okay. Pero yun ang forte ng school. You have to mm -hmm. be able to be good in both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kaya, kaya yun. Tapos, mm -hmm. uh, nung time naman na yun, uh, malapit na mag 80th birthday si Tita King noon. So, marami mm -hmm. siyang mga bagong compositions mm -hmm. din. Okay. Tapos, uh, on the concert stage, I guess, in the international scene, uh -huh. uh, it is only kasilag that is uh, acceptable in in abroad no mm, because mm -hmm. she is a graduate of that school Eastman, and there are a okay. lot of composers who come mm -hmm. from that school mm -hmm. so kaya talagang uh, mar nung time na yun marami nang nagsulat mga dissertation mm -hmm. sa kanya sa Ohio State University uh, meron din sa University of Minnesota mm -hmm. uh, Indiana University mm -hmm. Peabody so dun lahat puro puro kasilag nagkaroon mm -hmm. ng mm -hmm. ano parang mm -hmm. performances and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. okay. so works niya. <laughs> Pero balita namin Jonathan na ikaw ang ipinagkatiwala uh, ikaw sa iyo pinagkatiwala ipinagkatiwala. Ah, okay. So siguro pinagkatiwala. I'm gonna get this. Okay. <laughs> ipinagkatiwala uh, ni Tita King ang kanyang mga piano and chamber music. Piano and chamber, yes, uh -huh. kasi But isn't there uh, like a foundation of the family that takes care of Actually, this? Actually, we really didn't have a foundation uh -huh. that takes care of that in uh -huh. the family. Okay. So, parang, yeah. so, so, papano ngayon, uh, lahat ng mga works ni Tita King, sino ang nag-aalaga? Si Jonathan? Uh, uh, actually, yeah. yung lahat ng work, yung memorabilia meron sa yeah. women's. Binigay okay. niya yung works niya. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang, sa sobrang daming involvement ni Tita King, for example, 1963, she was composer in residence at the East-West Center at University of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So, marami siyang compositions nandun Doon. din. Doon, okay. Uh, tapos, graduate siya ng music ng St. Scholastica's College. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, marami rin siyang compositions do. Mm -hmm. na awala sa women kasi mm -hmm. puro sa saints ko niya dinedicate. Mm -hmm. Tapos nung 1947 naman, mm -hmm. uh, 1946, 47, that time, uh, naging ano siya, secretary register ng Conservatory of Music ng UP. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. nung time na yon 
nandun nandun din ang marami meron din siyang compositions doon so kalat-kalat sa piano so kalat-kalat siya wala talagang isang organisasyon o isang wala na wala nag-aalaga nito mm -hmm. and you know basically taking care of the copyright and mm -hmm. you know, yeah at kasi si Tita Kaya ang gusto talaga niya talagang binibigay yeah. niya sa lahat ng mga piyesa niya eh so she she wasn't seeking for copyright oh, or anything mm -hmm. it was not for the money it was for oh, her totoo passion yun. it was for mm -hmm. the Filipino music talaga mm -hmm. especially ethnic music because mm -hmm. she believed that uh, the Filipino soul can be found in its music. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So right now, the <coughs> family is not like the owner of Tita King's works. No, okay. it belongs to the Filipino people. It, belo yes. it belongs Filipino. to the Filipino. That's really very noble of Tita, and it's so Tita King. Mm -hmm. You know, because I have some experiences working and. You know, getting to know Tita King mm -hmm. Casilag, mm -hmm. especially before when she was in the president of the Cultural Center of the Philippines at uh, napatungo siya sa Russia. Naalala ko nun, estudyante ako sa Russia, sa Russian Ballet Academy. At that time, it was the Leningrad Choreographic School for Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, um, tinawag ako sa director's office. One day, you know, completely unexpected. Di siempre, no. Principal school. Oh, di na tawag ka sa director's office. Me joke na bahan. Me joke na bahan ako. Na sabi ko, ano kaya ng yari? Ano kang ano kaya nagawa ako? Tapos pagpasok ko sa director's office, andun si Tita King. And siempre nagulat ako na nandun siya. And then yun nga, she was visiting. She was touring. Uh, Moscow and St. Petersburg at mm. uh, that time Leningrad and napat napatungo nga siya sa St. Petersburg and nasabihan nga siya na merong Pilipinang nag-aaral doon sa uh, Vaganova in, uh, school tapos sabi niya, oh I'd like to meet her di uh, pumunta naman ako doon sa director's uh, office tapos um, ayun, eh, kasi hindi ako scholar ng CCP, mm -hmm. hindi ako scholar so hindi talaga ako kilala ni Tita King no? mm -hmm. so Ayun, so, nag-uusap nag kami, and then meron siyang interpreter na dala. Eh, yung interpreter niya, nagtatagalog lang. Hindi okay. naging English. Uh -huh. no? So, yung, yung Tagalog niya, yung malabalagtasang Tagalog na nakakalalim. Wow. Na, yung tipong kailangan mo talaga ng English Filipino dictionary, dictionary. No? para marapan maintindihan siya. Kasi para siyang nagbabalagtasan talaga. So, nung minsan, nung nag interpret na nga itong si, nag, nagsasalita yung director namin, tapos nag interpret yung kanyang interpreter sa Tagalog, si Tita King, nakikinig siyang nakikinig. Tapos so, biglang tingin siya sa akin, sabi niya, ano daw sinabi niya? <laughs> well, that's so tapos, at one point, sinabi, sinabi ko na lang dun sa interpreter, pwede niyong... Ano, ako na lang mag-interpret from Russian to English kasi nga ano, medyo nahihirapan siya so, hindi maintindihan nung Russian tagalista kung bakit hindi, hindi siya naiintindihan ni Tita King uh, anyway um, that's, that's of course um, marami din akong uh, mga uh, uh, encounter sa kanya after Russia na, uh, when I was dancing na in the cultural center I think she was also si Teresa Escoda Rojas ang sumunod sa yes, kanya. Si Bing, Rojas. Um, yes. Bing Rojas. And uh, Bing Rojas was the one who invited me to become an artist in residence of the CCP. Pero si mm -hmm. Tita King really, really supported that. And of course, mm -hmm. her last composition production before she passed away was Why Flowers Bloom in Me. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, that was back in... 2008. 2008. Yeah, yeah. The, and that was that the year, year that she, she passed. Oh, she passed. Oh. Pero may sakit na siya nga siya. No? Yes. Oh. Ma matagal din siyang may sakit. Medyo matagal na. Mm -hmm. Matagal-tagal din. Kasi, pero unti-unti siya nang hina hanggang mm -hmm. sa nabulag siya. Mm -hmm. Una, hindi na siya nakakalakad. Kaya di ba nakamotorized mm -hmm. ano, siya yes. wheelchair which oh. she drove herself. Oh, oh. And then, ayun, unti-unti, yung mobility niya medyo na mm -hmm. nadamay na, na, na rin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero she was still very active in spite of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kahit nakaganyan, pupunta siya sa bahay namin, dalag-dalag niya yung wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And then yung mga, I think, may, may anak na ako noon, sasakay pa siya dun sa wheelchair, sa wheelchair oh, na, oh, oh, na, oh, oh. na 
na motorized. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, um, I remember that uh, she lost her sight yes. slowly. Yes. And then, which affected, siyempre, the, the enjoyment that she had for... Lagi siyang nanonood ng ballet noon yeah. eh. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think what really affected her was when she lost her hearing. Yes, yes. Yun talaga. I mean, I guess, you know, for yeah, a musician, from, yes. for a composer, that's really, you know, yeah. uh, the worst, the worst thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so nabanggit namin kanina nga na 100th birth anniversary uh -oh. ni, ni Tita King Kasilag. Uh, she was born last August 31. 2000, eh, no, sorry, 1918. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, last August 31, 2018. Mm -hmm. um, were there any parang special public activities that celebrated this important event? Actually, or marami. marami. Uh -huh. okay. Nagsimula nung May 11, ang mm -hmm. Manila Symphony Orchestra mm -hmm. sa Ayala Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, Ingrid Santa Maria played the divertissement. Mm -hmm. So, yung divertissement, parang piano concerto niya yan. Mm -hmm. Pero, mm -hmm. hindi lamang Western instruments, kundi merong may bungkaka dyan, merong mm -hmm. kulintang mm -hmm. at, no? Mm -hmm. Tapos, they also played Philippine scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, Philippine scenes is one one of the most unique uh, compositions dahil sa third movement na yon, mm -hmm. yung mismong orchestra members ay kumakanta. Nag-chant sila. Oh, wow. Sila mismo. Okay. So, magugulat ka. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's that's Tita King. Yeah, yeah that's Tita that King. That's Tita King. Yes. Uh -oh. yeah. o, pagkatapos, uh, nagkaroon din ng uh, Philippine Women's University. Nagkaroon sila ng tribute sa kanya. Mm -hmm. uh, August 18. Mm -hmm. Tapos, uh, August 26 naman sa Concert at the Park. Uh -huh. uh, maraming schools ang involved dyan. Okay. Uh, Santa Isabel College. Uh, Philippine High School for the Arts, yung St. Paul University Manila, mm. PWU mm -hmm. alumni, mm -hmm. uh, may mga taga-UST rin, mm -hmm. uh, may taga-CEU, taga-UP, lah lahat ng schools mm -hmm. uh, per mag uh, nandun, nag-perform sa concert at the park. Mm -hmm. This time naman si Tita Senas, ang mm -hmm. kanyang yeah. ano, uh, right hand niya. And then, mm -hmm. of course, Tita mm -hmm. Fides, mm -hmm. her uh, yes. soprano. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. Kasi oh, like, then, expert then, <laughs> Pero uh, sa mga hindi nakaabot dun sa mga palabas na yun, meron bang papalabasin pa next week or the week meron after po, next? Yeah. Sa mm -hmm. September 9. September, September 9, 9, 2 o'clock. But uh -huh. this time, eh, this will be on Mount Makiling sa National ah, okay. Arts Center. Ah, sa National oh, Arts Center. Kasi doon nga ako nag-high school at uh -huh. ang mga alumni ng Makiling uh -huh. ay magbibigay pugay sa kanya. Uh -huh. oh, kasi alam niyo si Tita King, noong 1960 pa lang, na meet niya si, nakilala niya si Zoltan Koday, isang mm -hmm. Hungarian mm -hmm. uh, music educator and composer mm -hmm. sa Interlaken mm -hmm. Arts Academy. Nagpunta siya no, 1960s pa lang yun. Mm -hmm. So, yung idea ng National Art Center at Philippine High School for the Arts was actually Tita King's uh, idea and then oh. she suggested it to the to the to, government at, uh -huh. at that time I no? see. Okay. tapos uh, so yung mga graduates ng makiling whether visual arts or theater lahat ng aming recitals present si Tita King mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. katulad ng sa inyo la, la, pinapanood niya lahat pati mm -hmm. exhibits yes. pati yes. book launch very very oh. active siya yes. oh. talaga i mean you you would really see yes. her everywhere no she, if she could watch all the shows at the CCP, oh, then oh, she would oh, be there. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, I mean, I remember kasi before every performance na nandun siya, syempre na-announced bilang national yes. art. Mm -hmm. Nandun ang national artist for music, no? Dr. Lucrecia Casilan. Pero syempre pinapalakpa ka siya <laughs> ng mga tao. No? No? At, at uh, actually, okay. ang nakakatawa pa nga nung 1998, eh, nag-rap si Tita King. Eh. Yeah. Ang oh, basura. Wow. Basura. Oh, so, uh -huh. Stage, ano yun? Uh -huh. Siya nag-rap mismo. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Kaya nung Wildflowers Bloom in May, ginawa ulit, nilagay doon. Nilagay doon yung rap, yung rap na, yun, na yun. Yun. Yes, yun, that's right. Pero ang original niya, si Tita King ang nag-rap niya. Ah, <laughs> I see. Okay. I actually danced to her composition, ang pangalan ng pangalan ng Pangalan ng piyesa ay Oriental fa Fantasy, mm -hmm. but I think it was to, it was choreographed by Basilio Stevillarus. Ah, Stevillarus. Um, 
to a short part of her piano concerto. Oh, oh, oh just okay. a small, uh, just a short four-minute mm-hmm. excerpt from her piano concerto. Yes, yeah, so, Steve. Um, sa, sa libro niya meron din siyang ano dun eh, Saint John of the Cross. Ang ginawa daw ni Tita King ginawa niyang operatorio. Mm-hmm. So a combination of opera and oratorio, and then si Steve did a chor- mm-hmm. choreography with dance and mm-hmm. singing and yes, all yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, kasaya yung okay. composition. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Mga okay. Well, um, Jobert bilang miembro ng pamilya, no? Meron bang mga personal traits? si Tita King or any like memorable anecdotes na ma-share mo with us na it which shows a side of her na hindi madalas makita ng publiko. Ah. Ito maaalala ko. Mm-hmm. Do you know that she was held up in her house? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Na-hold uh-huh. up siya sa loob ng bahay niya. Mm-hmm. Tinasok siya, mm-hmm. hinold up siya, tapos mm-hmm. Tinali. Tinali siya. Tinali siya. Pinunit okay. yung bedsheet. Tinali siya. Uh-huh. Tapos, ginag siya. Uh-huh. Pero, after that, she was able to psychologize the, the hold-upper. Mm-hmm. Pero pagkatapos nun, pumunta siya sa bahay namin. Tapos, nagpalit siya ng damit niya. Kung anong suot niya nung hinold-up siya. At kung anong mga ginamit pantali sa kanya. Dinemonstrate niya sa amin yun, mm-hmm. kung paano ginawa. Ganun siya. Napaka-dramatic uh-huh, talaga. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And all the sense of humor, paano niya pinapa-sinecologize yung magnanakaw. Uh-huh. Wala kang makukuha dito. Uh-huh. Wala kang pera dito. Nasa bangko. Ganyan. Uh-huh. Ano bang kailangan mo? Uh-huh. So, ang, that side of her. Uh-huh. And she's a... Hindi naman siya nasaktan. Hindi naman siya uh-huh. nasaktan. Kasi uh-huh. alam niya kung paano kalmahin yung, yung magnanakaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... Uh, her passion for eating. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. She loves to eat. Paborito niyan, ice ah, so, cream. So, so, isa siyang foodie. <coughs> foodie siya. Oh, oh, foodie yan. Okay. <laughs> At saka, she'd like to share this with us also. Uh-huh. Kaya minsan, pagka madalas, yung mga pasalubo siya, mga pagkain, mga, mali, mga bagay sa pagkagaling siya sa abroad, mm-hmm. so, naisip ko nga, eh, siguro yung caviar na binigay niya sa amin, galing, nung galing siya sa Russia, mm-hmm. kaya yung time na nag Yes, kayo. for sure. Oh. So, yung mga bahay na, <laughs> sa blue cheese, mahilig uh-huh. siya sa mga exotic na pagkain. Uh-huh. So, kung may Instagram account si Tita Ay, King, no. puro pagkain yung, yung Instagram oh. niya. <laughs> eh, hindi ko alam yun. <laughs> okay, well, marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa centenario ni national artist Lucrecia Casilag. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghalan at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar sa musika. Bilang pagdiriwang ng kanilang 33rd anniversary, magtatanghal ang Manila Chamber Orchestra Foundation ng isang Thanksgiving Gala Benefit Concert. Pinamagatang MCOF at 33 with a song in my heart. Mapapanood ito September 8, alas 7 ng gabi sa Tower Club Phil Am Life Tower, Makati City. Tampok ang mga classically trained at music competition winners na sina Stephanie Quintin at Meko Manlangit Soprano, Nomer Nival, Tenor, Gabriel Alan Pagirigan, Pianist. Kasama ang Ateneo Alumni Glee Club sa direksyon ni Leo Lanuza at pianist na si Paulo Pineda at ang mga piling between ng Marco Polo, The Lyric Musical. Para sa tiket, tumawag sa MCO Foundation, 997-9483 o sa Ticket World, 891-9999. Sa Sining Biswal, iniyahandog ng Cultural Center of the Philippines sa pakikipagtulungan ng HP Incorporated ang photography exhibition na pinamagatang Resetting the Clock. Nagbukas noong August 30, makikita hanggang October 21 sa Bulwagang Fernando Amorsolo ng CCP. Tampok ang mga photo-based artworks ni Nahana Aaron, Cindy Aquino, Zeus Bascon, Gino Javier, Jazel Christine, 
J.P. Pasqua, Charles Salazar, Jemuel Salvador, Jerome Soriano, Marco Ugoy, Sidney Valdez, at Tanya Villanueva. Para sa karagdagang detalye, tumawag sa CCP Visual Arts and Museum Division, Production and Exhibition Department, 832-3702 o mag-email ccp.exhibits at gmail.com o bumisita sa website culturalcenter.gov.ph Sa teatro, iniahandog ng Atlantis Theatrical Entertainment Group ang musical na Sideshow. Nagbukas noong August 31, magkakaroon ito ng palabas hanggang September 23 sa Carlos P. Auditorium, 4th Floor, RCBC Plaza, Ayala Avenue Corner, Hill Puyat Avenue, Makati City. Na nominate ng Tony Award bilang Best Musical, ang Sideshow ay tungkol sa pag-ibig, pagkawala, pagkakapatiran at ang pagiging kakaiba. Kabilang sa mga gumanap sina Gab Pangilinan at Kyla Rivera bilang mga conjoined twins na sina Daisy at Violet Hilton, Wensi Cornejo bilang ang misteryong ringmaster, Marky Strom bilang ang talent scout na si Terry Connor. Para sa ticket, tumawag sa Ticketworld 891-9999 o bumisita sa website ticketworld.com.ph Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat! Kasama ang balirina ng bayan, si Lisa Maku. Art to Art Kasama pa rin natin para bigyang parangal sa kanyang sentenaryo ang pambansang alagad ng sining na si Lucrecia Casilag, ang kanyang pamangkin na si Jobert Ochoa at ang classical pianist and music educator na si Jonathan Arevalo Ku. Okay, so Jonathan, in simple terms, how can you explain Dr. Casilag's concept of East-West Fusion, which of course became the main basis of her numerous works. But, bago mo sagutin yun, pakinggan muna natin ang maiksing excerpt mula sa kanyang musika. Okay, so I can hear it, but... I want you to explain it okay, to me. Okay, first of all, the music we just heard is a fantasy on a tone row for three violins and piano. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a legendary composition mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it was performed by Luis Valencia, Emilio Reyes, Carmencita Lozada, mm -hmm. the three violinists mm -hmm. on the recording, mm -hmm. and Carmencita Sipin on the piano. Mm -hmm. um, we all know that uh, both Carmencita <coughs> Lozada and Carmencita Sipin were her uh, were scholars in uh, Vienna, mm -hmm. okay. and uh, so sila mga classical musicians. Mm -hmm. So papano maririnig ng isang taga Europa o ng isang taga Amerika ang musika ng ng Asia o ng Pilipino na sa, sa isang violin o sa isang piano. Mm -hmm. So ang gagawin ni Tita King lalagyan niya ng uh, di bawa. Uh, chant na bagbagto mm -hmm. or chant ng uh, uh, tune ng isang kulintang mm -hmm. or uh, um, pentatonic scale. Tapos mm -hmm. ilalagay niya sa, ilalapat niya sa music mm -hmm. tapos ganun na yung, yung tunog. Mm -hmm. So yung narinig natin kanina, lively siya pero pwede rin siyang parang uh, mountain province uh, dance. Mm -hmm. pa -pa 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 <coughs> Tapos, uh, gagawin naman niya sa rhythm naman, mm -hmm. alam naman natin, complex yung, yung rhythm ng ng ano pag uh, metal gongs and the different types of drums mm. so ang gagawin niya o oh, iba-ibang iba-ibang klase ng percussion instruments iba-ibang rhythm mm -hmm. tapos sasamahan niya ng piano mm -hmm. sasamahan niya ng brass instruments mm -hmm. so kaya siya nagkaroon ng Republic Cultural Heritage Award 1960 mm -hmm. Tocata for piano percussion and winds mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. ngayon um, after that uh, meron pang mas mas ano mas maganda kasi ang ginawa niya sa isang orchestra, alam naman natin ang, ang isang orchestra ay western instruments plus may mga may mga Latin American instruments like maracas, mm. may marimba, mm. pero kay Tita King ang isang orchestra dapat ang percussion section may kasamang mga Pinoy instruments o mm. ano, ang gitgit, ang uh, 
uh, bungkaka, ang mm-hmm. tongatong, mm-hmm. ang dabakan, <coughs> lahat yan. Mm-hmm. So, lalagay niya doon. Mm-hmm. So, nagkaroon tayo ng, meron din siya ori- orientalia naman na, na tinugtog nga na, ng kam- kamakailan. No? Mm-hmm. So, ganong type ng music. So, East to West talagang uh, intercultural exchange mm-hmm. at uh, meron pa siya ecology. Mm-hmm. Ginawa nila, uh, linagyan niya yung mga bote. Mm-hmm. Linagyan yung mga bote ng uh, iba't ibang tuwig para iba-ibang ano. Tapos, may choir. Tapos, mm-hmm. merong so, so, iba-ibang uh, instruments, iba yung ano. So, pinagsama-sama niya. Yan ang East-West. Mm-hmm. Yan ang Tita King. Yeah. Kaya, siya, uh-huh. kaya siya international artist. Eh. Uh-huh. <laughs> nung, uh, in uh-huh. fact, nung 1993, ang UNESCO named her together with Rostropovich mm-hmm. and Carreras as international artists mm-hmm. of the world that mm-hmm. was bestowed yeah. on her. Uh-huh. So, and uh, it, ito ang kailangan marinig ng buong mundo, yung yes. music natin. Uh-huh. So, ka, uh, katulad kayo, na, nakakatuwa nga, eh, mm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi lamang sa pagsasayaw na classical, may, pwedeng lagyan ng, ng music mm-hmm. ng Asian. So, pag narinig nila, ah, hindi lamang pala si Bartok o si Prokofiev ang may kaya niyan. Yes. Si Kasilag, meron pala sa Pilipinas na ganong mm-hmm. standard yes, ng music. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, rem- I remember Tita King also has an extensive collection no, mm-hmm. of all of these mga indigenous Filipino and Asian musical mm-hmm. instruments na so uh, Jobert nasan na yung mga collections niya ngayon? No, for it's it's all around. Uh-huh. Uh, some of it or uh, I think a great part of it is in the CCP and okay. some of it malaking marami rin na sa PWU mm-hmm. sa P- Philippine mm-hmm. Women's University. Mm-hmm. University at uh, sa iba pang lugar sa Santa Isabel, sa, Santa Isabel din, eh. meron mm-hmm. din. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's all over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, meron bang existing parang catalog ng lahat ng kanyang mga naging published compositions? Do you have an idea kung ilan ito? Uh, she has around 300 compositions. Ah, okay. yeah, yung mga nagsulat ng dissertation tungkol sa kanya at mm-hmm. in fact 2011 there's even a book uh, uh, Oxford University they uh, published Oxford University about Kasilag and Asian modernism mm-hmm. and then they mentions they they mention her her compositions mm-hmm. sa ano naman a uh, new grove uh, dictionary of music and musicians mm-hmm. uh, in lahat ng mga uh, international uh, uh, musicians composers and din mm-hmm. siya uh, women composers mm-hmm. uh, nandun din siya mm-hmm. Ma- marami namang ano pwedeng Mm-hmm. Pag, kahit sa ano, i-google mo, mm-hmm. uh, andun lahat ng info kay Tita King, mm-hmm. kita natin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> meron pa pala, meron siyang piyes, meron siyang music na sinama namin sa uh, sa tatlong kwento ni Lola Basang naming trilogy mm-hmm. na uh, prinsipe ng mga ibon. Parang Kasi napalood parang, ko yan. <laughs> yes, oo. Pinasok namin yung mga oo. iba't ibang uh, most famous mu- music melodies of uh, national artists. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, nandyan si Lucio San Pedro. Mm-hmm. Of, of course, may kasilag uh-huh. din doon. Kasi marami siyang innovations eh. Meron siyang uh, opera for children eh. Uh, si Pagong at si Matsi. Matsi, mm-hmm. parang ganon. Mm-hmm. Tapos, meron din siyang uh, para sa The Legend of Sari Manok. Mm-hmm. Oh, may, meron din siyang ginawa na, uh, dito sa, sa recent tribute, um, Poem and the Music. So, Jose mm-hmm. Garcia Villa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spoken Word. Mm-hmm. Tapos, may mga chimes. At mm-hmm. ano, kasama rin yung music niya. Okay. Parang gano'n. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, talagang gamit na gamit pa rin gamit siya. Pa rin no? pa. Oh, oh. Pero, meron ba siyang mga unfinished works na naiwan niya bago siya pumanaw noong 2008? Uh, in terms of unfinished, wala kasi. Ang, ang kasilag music, yun nga sinasabi nung iba. So, so uh, ano pa paano ba talaga mag-perform ng Kasilag Music? Ang uh, Kasilag Music is like ano eh, is like playing Bach or Mozart na uh, it can be improvisatory. Mm-hmm. So, minsan kung ano yung nakasulat sa score, mm-hmm. pwede mong dagdagan 'yan. Mm-hmm. Kasi ganun din ang mga chance natin mm-hmm. minsan, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, tapos um doon naman sa kanyang uh, halimbawa kung sa ballet kung gusto nilang gamitin yung music niya, okay lang sa kanya na i-cut yan. Mm-hmm. I-arrange mo into something different. Yeah. Kasi uh-huh. ganun, ganun talaga ang kanyang uh-huh. Ano, uh-huh. pag-compose. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, um, Jopper, there was um, a side, a spiritual side of Tita yes. King. Uh-huh. That, I mean, 
I knew about that. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I remember she was also into the pranic healing. Pranic healing, yeah. And she yeah. was into the yung mga aura. Silver mind, and yeah. Yes. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, the, can you talk about that side of her, yung kanyang spiritual I'd side? say that I think it's linked to her music also. Because eh. mm -hmm. her spiritual side connects her to the Filipino soul. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung mga musical instruments na indigenous, makikita mm -hmm. mo sa in sa the way she she handles it eh. mm -hmm. and very religious din siya no? she's mm -hmm. very spiritual mm -hmm. and in fact she wanted to influence us mm -hmm. in fact she even enrolled me sa Silva Mind talaga yeah. uh -huh. oh. okay <laughs> she, she, she saw that I'm just stressed ako. Uh -huh. and she wanted me to be calm down mm -hmm. to learn how to relax to be on that uh, spiritually mm -hmm. uh, peaceful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and um, well, for both of you, um, now that you know it's her, she she it's her centennial birth <coughs> anniversary, and uh, um, we, I mean, she passed mga two weeks before her 90th yeah. birthday. No, um, do you remember her last thoughts or her mga huling habilin? Uh, bago siya pumanaw noong 2008, um, meron ba siyang mga, uh, you know, mga bilin na iniwan sa inyo? Well, parang wala naman. But I, it was her, uns I felt that it was, she was leaving the world na accomplished and she had left something behind. And mm -hmm. I think she wanted that pag umalis siya, maalagaan yung mga ginawa niya mm -hmm. at maibigay sa ating mga mm -hmm. kababayan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yun ang... And which we're doing now. Yes. No? Yes. I mean, and we're celebrating her yeah. life and we're celebrating her works yeah. and it, we're always remembering. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. And if she were here, yung mga concert na nangyari na ginawa nung mga nakaraan linggo, matutuwa siya mm -hmm. mm -hmm. talagang buhay ang kanya mm -hmm. ibinigay yes. sa ating oh. bansa. Oh. So pero para sa mga millennials na you know hindi na naabutan ang golden years ni National Artist Lucrecia Casilla, how would you introduce um, her works and her self to to these people? Uh, you know, how would you want her to be remembered by, you know, these young people na hindi hindi siya you know, hindi siya kilala? Uh, um, through her music, through her, you know, as an educator, as a manage, arts manager. I mean, of course, there's that whole person. No? Yes. Uh -oh, pero, um, how would you describe uh, uh, King Kasilag and her contribution to Philippine music and to music well, of the th world? Through her music, mm -hmm. uh, important sa music niya, kahit sinong artist ka pa mm -hmm. ang importante mahalin mo ang ang Pilipinas yun ang mm -hmm. sa kanya eh. kasi mm -hmm. yes. uh, during the last uh, 10 years of her life i was always with her kasi mm -hmm. we had the, this uh, kind of group called Artists for the Environment. Mm -hmm. okay. no? So, yes. lagi kami nakila, Tita Odette Alcantara, mm -hmm. every week yan. Uh, yeah. Talaga, yeah. ano, kaya nga doon nabuo yung Ang Basura. Na-inspire siya tayo. Oo, na-inspire siya, okay. si oh, na siya doon eh. Yeah. Diba? Uh -huh. So, yun ang number one. Alaga, alagaan mo ang mundo mm -hmm. through your art, mm -hmm. sa, through your, sa, sa, sa iyong sariling sining. Mm -hmm. So, hindi mo kailangan na maging uh, specialist or hindi mo kailangan, basta importante, pag-aralan mo yung musika natin at yun ang i yung contribution mo sa mundo. So, mm -hmm. sa mga millennials, uh, sana yung manaririnig natin sa MTV or sa ano, parang ganon, sana yun yung mga rap ng mga tao, mm -hmm. di ba? Oh, yeah. Tungkol sa basura, alagaan natin ang, oh, ang uh, oh, nature. Oh, In oh. fact, yung kanyang, dami niyang compositions, eh. yes. meron siya tungkol sa ulan, tungkol sa awak, uh -huh. tungkol oh. sa alitap-tap, uh -huh. tungkol sa sampagita. Mm -hmm. So, so ganon, sa, mm -hmm. sana maging ganon din ang mga millennials na, mm -hmm. na hindi lamang ang para sa para sa sarili, mm -hmm. ngunit, ngunit para sa para sa mundo, mm -hmm. alagaan. Mother mm -hmm. Earth, yes. yeah. love Mother yes. Earth. So she was really an artist uh, so, so ahead of her time. Yes, you know? yes. Oh, in parang India. nakikita yeah. niya yung future. Yes. Ano? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. 
Okay, anyway, maraming maraming salamat, yeah, Jobert and Jonathan, sa pagkalaw nyo dito sa amin, dito sa Art to Art, and of course, for helping us pay tribute to Dr. Kasilag on her 100th birth anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipinas.